started working uh, in pen testing 10 years ago after I finished university. Uh, and two years later, I started working on mobile applications. Uh, it was the first time that uh, a mobile bank uh, or the bank in Argentina had a mobile banking application. So we had to test it. We do testing because they are required by some compliance issue. So uh, every bank, for example, has to test uh, their applications because of banking uh, regulations. So there's a lot of uh, fintech and banking and mobile payments, uh, maybe insurance, medical data, but they're all, uh, they are all forced to do testing. The talk was uh, basically presentation of the, of the OWASP top 10 vulnerabilities uh, and discussion of those, and then uh, five examples of bad uh, fail uh, security in applications that I tested. The case with the weakest risk, uh, an attacker would actually have to steal your phone, root it or jailbreak it, and steal data from inside it. So that was not so bad. Uh, on the other hand, the, the one with the most risk, uh, an attacker would just be able to access a web service and download all the transaction information from that payment application with credit cards and everything. So it was really bad. <laughs> When you hear about uh, big companies like Target or whatever that lose millions and millions of credit card records, it's stuff like this that goes into production and someone exploits it. Usually what's happening is that uh, the people doing mobile application uh, development is really young. They are not as skilled maybe as the ones that have been doing uh, web security for a long time. So, and they are mostly oriented to user experience and visuals and stuff like that and they don't care so much about security. We've come to a point where the operating systems, for example, Android or iOS, allow a developer to uh, develop securely. So they have the tools to do it, but they don't know how or they do it wrong. Both Android and iOS have started flagging applications that have some parameters that are insecure. Uh, for example, uh, if you try to upload um, an Android application that has the debug flag uh, with, with true, it would not let you now, it used to, uh, but they are just looking for really basic stuff and not for logic in the code. So they have no way of detecting uh, the kind of vulnerabilities that we found. The same with malware. There's malware on Play Store every day and they just try to flag it and they delete it but it gets uploaded again. So they are not doing this so good. It's not so uh, bad with iOS because it's much difficult, uh, much more difficult to to upload an application and to get it accepted. But uh, Android, the Android landscape, it's quite messy right now. We are uh, doing a, a research on uh, applications that allow you to securely store stuff, like notes or pictures or passwords on your device. There are a massive lot of them on, the, on Google Play and on iOS. Most of them are free and done by uh, random developers. So we're trying to see how, how bad the landscape is there. Uh, one of the demos was uh, an application that actually said that you could securely store your private pictures uh, and it was not secure at all. So you could just plug, plug your phone via USB, run a few random commands and get the pictures out from the phone. The thing that we see the most uh, is applications inadvertently storing data on the device. For example, with the operating system logs, uh, with temporary files, cache files, that actually are because the developer doesn't configure uh, correctly um, a plugin or a library that they are using. There's a lot of them that they store in plain text. And maybe sometimes they are using encryption, but they are uh, storing the keys on the device. After you build your application, try to break it, your own application. Just install it, run it, and check the device and see what uh, if, if the information it's storing it's meant to be stored, or if it's just something that you didn't program, but it's happening anyway. There's a lot of uh, security projects, for example, the uh, mobile, uh, the MASBS from OWASP, uh, which just came, version 1.0 came out on January this year, uh, and it's meant to help uh, developers know the, the vulnerabilities and, and develop uh, in a better way. So I think, I hope in, in like five years, we are in a more secure stage and more, more and more developers know about how to um, securely code uh, mobile applications uh, so we don't have uh, to find so horrible bugs <laughs> when we've been tested. <laughs>